Hi everybody, so in this video I'm going to go through my iMaths. It's a learning platform that your teacher may be setting work on and I'm going to sort of just show you through this and navigate uh, some of the menus and where you can go for extra work and help. Um, so first thing is, is it is, uh, look at the address bar here, it's my, my iMaths.com myimaths.com and then your school username is uwc and the password is circle okay just so just circle so you log in and everybody can log in you can log in now with this detail okay um, but what you'll need to do so just minimize this down a little bit okay um, once you're in here, you can navigate and uh, go through many of the topic areas. And when your teacher gives you okay, your portal and username, okay, then you can log in through here. So just it's quite good. It's like a two-stage login. You come in through this main part, and you can search for work and do work. But if your teacher is sending you work, you'll need to access that work through this portal username and logon. So whatever your uh, username is, they share with you, um, and the password. Now, you may get that email from um, another member of staff, but if you cannot find the email or you're not sure that you've got one, you can contact your um, class teacher and they can easily share it with you. Okay, and then you will log in through here. But I'll just show you the main site right now. Okay, so we've got the major areas of um, uh, maths on the side here. Now you can select and change the sort of the content that you can see. So for those of you doing IB, okay, you could uh, you could change to IB DP standard level, for example. Okay, uh, those of you doing higher level, you can change it, and it'll filter the content to what you sort of do and do not need to to look at. So what I'll do is I'm just going to cater for the grade 9, 10s and FIBs looking at this right now. But I'm going to do Cambridge IGCSC. Okay. So now what I'll do is I'll scroll down here. I can see some of the major topic areas like algebra, graphs, geometry, mensuration, coordinate geometry, and trig. So let's just go and have a look at trigonometry. So I'll click on trigonometry. And here are some of the uh, trigonometry tasks that I can look at, which is 2D Pythagoras and geometry, Pythagoras and trigonometry, Pythagoras and trigonometry here, 3D. So if we go into 2D Pythagoras and trigonometry, and let's say I want to uh, do some questions or practice on the cosine rule. Okay, so I'm going to click on cosine rule, and I can review a lesson. So if I go to review lesson, it opens up a new tab in the top corner here. And then uh, what you can do to navigate through this is you can go like click page one, uh, and then down at the bottom here, so I'll just move my picture out of the, out of the way here as well. Uh, next, and it will just take you through the slides. Now, this can be a little bit tricky to navigate because you, a lot of people miss this um, down here. We can click next. Going, you notice we're still on slide one here. So keep going through one. And it talks me through okay how we can derive the cosine rule formula. Okay, now when we did at the end of one, we'll go back to two, and then same thing again. We can slide, go through all of these slides here by clicking next, and notice multiple steps. It takes you through step by step. Okay and then so on and so on. So that is uh, how we can navigate through a particular lesson. You can go back up, you can just close that uh, tab and come back to this. Now let's say you want to do the questions that are based on the cosine rule. You can just do the online homework. Now, regardless of whether the teacher has set this for you or not, okay, you can just go and do the, the questions right now without even a username as practice. You can just go in and do practice. But for it to save and log uh, this that you have done it, okay, you can now log in through your username and password here again and log in. Okay, now I've got a teacher account, so I can't quite log in to show you. So what I'll do is I'll just do the practice. 
and then you go ahead and you answer these questions. So you'll work this problem out here, and this would be a very lucky guess if the answer was 30, and you work these problems out, and when you think that you've done it correctly, you can just go mark it. I've got none of them correct, but then you'll go to the second set of questions, and the same thing here, you fill in your answers for all of these cosine rule questions. Go mark it, and what happened is, is it says it's finished, but I think I scored zero. Okay, uh, go to see summary. Okay, zero, and you can practice again. You, you can do it again and again until you're happy that you've got the best mark possible, and then you can finish and close. Now, obviously, because a teacher hasn't set me that, I was just doing that as practice. But remember, there's many options to always log into your portal. When you log into your portal, you will see a list of assignments that a teacher has set for you. And again, if you uh, cannot do that, you need to contact one of us or contact your teacher and we can show you. So at the moment, the passwords are being generated. I uh, should have them shortly. But that is the, uh, the basics behind my iMaths. And I hope that you get a lot of um, positive uh, use out of that. Okay, thank you very much for listening again. I'll be back shortly with another video.